after the festival, we came into to some controversy in that um, a ultra right wing congressman called Cliff Stearns in uh, southern Florida decided to. Um, well, uh, first I have to say we received um, NEA stimulus funding. In fact, we were the only gay organization to receive stimulus funding. And this didn't make this person very happy. And so um, he probably got some intern or someone to look at our website and decided that uh, Thundercrack by Kurt McDowell and Mike Kuchar, or I mean, uh, uh, a fresh George new work. Kuchar, a fresh new work, uh, was pornography, including bestiality. So there's a, well, if you've seen the film, you know that someone's dressed in a gorilla outfit, but, you know, the right wing can. <laughs> Anyways, um, so they, um, you know, created this whole story, you know, and uh, sent it to Fox. Got Fox to put this on the news. We were on uh, Bill O'Reilly, you know, Lou Dobbs, um, all these folks. And he also got 50 fellow congressmen to sign a letter and send it to the NEA saying, you know, how can you do this? How can you be funding, you know, gay people and pornography and, and whatnot? Um, luckily, you know, it was on Fox and, well, Fox News, so wonderfully respected. No one else really picked it up. Um, we got a lot of, you know, um, right wing people putting it in their blogs and whatnot. Um, the NEA, of course, came under a lot of heat. Um, but um, so, you know, there's also another way that we can, we are sort of, you know, attacked from the outside, but um, I, I just wanted to put that out there because it was just sort of a little known story. Uh, just one <laughs> final thing I'll, I'll say about all three of these stories, which is to me the thing that was so interesting about the whole LA situation was I thought, you know, if Dole had just let it go, the film would have shown to like 200 eager people who already believed what it was showing and gone away. And I, I kind of feel like what's interesting and exciting about these situations, even as they make you nauseous as a filmmaker, is that they do exactly what a film festival should do, which is they stimulate discussion about what we should be showing, what we should be making films about. Um, and you know, that event was one of the most exciting festival events I've ever been part of, just as, you know, I'm sure your screenings, difficult though they were, were, you know, electrifying and that, you know, that whatever attacks there were on you also brought support and discussion about why it's still important to have gay and lesbian film festivals and why it's not something we should take for granted that you know we need to support these voices. I worked at Frameline years ago distributing films and um, I was working there when Marlon Riggs's Tongues Untied was uh, pulled from PBS. So basically this is a film by an African American gay man. It was a beautiful film. If you've never seen it, please try to find it. Uh, Frameline still distributes it. And, um, and it was a culture war and, and um, Jesse Helms and people um, took a few seconds segment of uh, bare butts you know, white guys with bare butts at a gay parade and, and you know, went all out. And I remember um, Marlon Riggs was particularly eloquent and really went on the t attack and um, uh, published some, uh, an op-ed in the New York Times. But I think what's, what's interesting is that you realize, you know, these are relevant to topics and I actually feel like we're sort of in a culture war at this moment. I feel like um, there's, there's this, you know, between like Fox News and Obama and things like that and I think we are at a really cri critical moment and I, I just have tremendous admiration, especially for the San Francisco documentary filmmaking community and, you know, and fiction makers, but I think, you know, people make films about very, very, you know, difficult topics and um, I think it's important to, to um, try to get bolstered support and outreach from people in your community when you're writing about or doing something that's that's controversial. And the lastly about the Rachel thing, I think it was really hard because instead of the, the people being mad at us being like dull, like big bad dull, which is horrible, but you know, how many people feel like, yay, dull, pro dull. Um, in, in our case, it was members of our own community and they may have been more, you know, right wing than I am personally, but it was painful to realize that it had created this really, really sort of painful moment in the community. And I think maybe your situation a couple of years ago was also similar in that way because it was like different parts of a community sort of fighting against each other.